Sound Transit has announced several ST3 projects are likely to be over budget and by a lot to the tune of $6.1 billion. King 5's Vanessa Mishania says a few factors come into play going into why that figure is so high. She's live tonight in Seattle with what Sound Transit is planning to do about this, Vanessa. It's a huge number. Yes, it is, Joyce. Good evening. So just to be clear, the Sound Transit projects that you see under construction right now, like the light rail work being done along the I-90 bridge, that's not impacted by this. What we're talking about is ST3 projects that are in the planning phase right now. And Sound Transit says that that big cost increase can be attributed to the pandemic and the real estate market. Thank you. I mean, obviously, these numbers are really quite sobering. During a January 7th executive meeting, Sound Transit broke the news that several of their voter approved projects are facing an affordability gap in the billions. We have some updated cost projections that aren't really um, in the direction that we would hope. The biggest price increases are in light rail to West Seattle, Ballard, and the Tacoma Dome, as well as a new maintenance facility. The increase of cost of all these projects equals $6.17 billion more than originally planned. In long term, Sound Transit could be facing a $12 billion affordability gap. Was there any way that Sound Transit could have seen these costs coming? The fact is that when you start out, you have a conceptual design that's a little more than a line on a map. And it's only through advancing design work that you um, find out what you're dealing with. What they're dealing with is a pandemic driven recession that's reduced sales tax revenue, which funds a large percentage of these projects, as well as a hot real estate market that's only increasing prices. Those are realities that weren't necessarily fully foreseen at the beginning of the road we're on. The silver lining for Sound Transit is time. It's hired a third party independent consultant to take a look at options to close some gaps. The silver lining for us, it says, is what it won't be taking out of our wallets. Should people be worried about paying more to this project? There's there's no discussion whatsoever of um, increasing local taxes to um, to address these issues we're having. So that independent consultant, they'll start working next month and they say that they should have a better cost increase analysis by the month of April. Live in Seattle tonight, Vanessa Mishania, King 5 News.